like comedy and jazz, we have the same, we have the same struggle. <laughs> we have the same kind of ascent. It's like you have to, you only get good at it by just putting yourself out there and probably falling on your face a lot and not playing for so many people. And you know, you just gotta, you gotta love what you do and it's gotta be totally transparent and authentic. And you can do all of those things at an extremely high level and people still may never ever know about it. <laughs> so. Trumpet collection. Hmm. Look at him. Hey, Warren. Hey, buddy. Nice shirt. Ruffles. Warren Vache is, you know, he played with Benny Goodman in his, in his 20s and 30s, and he's one of the greatest swing players alive today, easily. And he lives in Rahway, New Jersey. Yeah. I mean, Warren again is one of those guys who transcends like swing and bebop and that style and that sound that is really authentic. <laughs> I'm gonna make him sign it and I'm gonna keep it forever because he's a he's been a good friend and mentor of mine for a while. Yeah, I listen to hours and hours of Benito a day. Like you know, there's just some artists that you you hang out with sometimes. Like I feel like I can always hang out with Anita. Although if we ever hung out, she might have been a bad influence in person. She looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> ah! Like bebop is great at the gym. Like I, like, like I ran, ran on the treadmill to Eternal Triangle the other day and I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't know what other people are listening to, but maybe it's the same. <laughs> uh, it's at this point, you know, if I listen to stuff, it's, it's a study because you want to you wanna learn, you want to absorb things from them. And, and it's like you are, what you, you are what you listen to when it comes to jazz. I mean, with records, the way that they printed them, the way that, I know that this is the way that these guys wanted this to be heard. As opposed to listening to it on iTunes or things where it's been so compressed so many times. This is what their album sounded like when they listened to it. And I don't know what they would think if they got to listen to their albums now some, in some of the mediums they're presented in. It feels, you feel a closer connection to the people on the albums, even though Clearly many of us haven't, didn't really get close to an opportunity to get to meet them. So we'll take what we can get. <laughs> Would I ever consider putting an album on vinyl? Sure. If you buy it, I'll make it. <laughs>